Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up. Gentleness has made me great. Look at this. Water. Beautiful water. You know the word is like water. These scriptures right here, I wrote down. I'm gonna look them up right now. My Bible, come on. I'm gonna share them with you guys. Encourage you to stay tuned because it's refreshing. Water is so amazing. There's an association between that I found, like um, correlation between physical water and the word of God which is referred to as water you see this physical water you'll never see water again after this the same after this video this is physical water but God refers to the word as water but instead of it being physical water that you drink and it helps your body the word of God referred to as water restores your soul your soul is your mind your will and your emotions let's take a drop of water shall we here's a thought real quick this water cleanses us, right? When we, let's say, have a dirty paintbrush. Put some paint in here. Okay. Now, this water cleanses it. Clean the paintbrush. This water, these scriptures, the Bible, the Word of God, which is the water of God, will cleanse your soul. That's if, if you actually really take it in and believe it and have faith and apply it to your life. But here's some amazing scriptures about water that you're going to love that I looked up. Let's check out Ezekiel 36, 25. You can look it up in your Bible if you want. Follow along. Or I'll just show you the text. That's okay. You can just... Here, I'm going to show you the text. You don't even have to go get your Bible. Actually, you start from... Let's start from verse 23. 23 through 25. So good right here. And I will clean... I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen which you have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all, the con all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle and cleanse. I will sprinkle and cleanse clean water upon you. <laughs> the water. And you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. Beautiful scripture. Really deep. Here's another one. Actually. 24, 25, and 26. Amazing water here. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Oh, this is so hard, but we can do all things through Christ who helps us. Okay. 
Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ hath loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Washing of the water. By the word. Check this out. Math no John four thirteen and twenty and thirteen and fourteen. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water that shall thir- shall thirst again. The physical water. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. You won't have this emptiness in your soul anymore. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. How beautiful is that? Psalm 23, 1 through 3. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. The the word of God, that's the water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So beautiful. Check out this one. Verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst, Come. And whosoever will, Let him take of this water of life. Freely. You know this life that he's talking about? It's in the spirit. It's in your soul. It's restoration of your soul and reuniting in the spirit with him. Because he pulls you out of the darkness of this world and the evil ways that we know as sinners. And he sanctifies you and then restores your soul as you read his living water, his word, and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He gives you life. He gives you joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. It's beautiful what God does. So if if you are thirsty and you are not satisfied in this world, with the things of this world, if, if you're broken, call out to Jesus. Pick up the Bible. Listen to it. Listen to Christian worship music. Apply the word in your life. It's, it's, it'll set you free. Seeking. I mean, he will give you a love and, and he will restore your peace. No psychiatrist can do that. No psych meds. No therapist. No friends. No family. Not yourself. No self-help books. Nothing can restore you like the living God, like the living water. He is um, the living waters. He will give you life in the spirit and you'll come to know him. If you just humble yourself before the Lord. Walking with him is so beautiful. It's so restoring and kind. He is so kind. Check out the scripture again. Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Psalms 18.35 Hope you were blessed by this video. If you were, share it with others so they can also grow in the Lord, and maybe um, this video and the scriptures will help them. God bless you. Bye-bye.